you know the the most uh, popular film in india last year uh, was a film called rrr uh, and this was had to do with the british era and just uh, i'm trying to put it delicately you were in the nice you were in the nice guys in the movie uh, so uh, the reason i said can i suggest as a south african yeah yeah no no <laughs> <laughs> please <laughs> Dr. Jay Shankar, India today is a bigger, bigger economy than Britain. Uh, it is a geopolitical power. It is a post-colonial country that dominates the originally English sport of cricket. Would you call it a reversal of power? Would I call it a reversal of power? I said I would call it rebalancing, but I would also say this is history which is switch hitting. It's hitting the <laughs> other way. <laughs> right? Not far wrong. Uh, but no, but seriously, uh, the uh, you know, uh, in history, you have these ups and downs. It's not often that actually uh, countries get a second or a third bite of the apple. Uh, I think India today is in a very unusual position uh, that uh, uh, it is once more a very decisively upwardly mobile which a lot of other civilizational states, uh, barring one actually, uh, are not uh, anymore in a position to do. Uh, and, uh, you know, where, where the UK is concerned, I think it's a very complex relationship. I mean, there's a, there's a lot, uh, uh, you know, the, the most uh, popular film in India last year uh, was a film called RRR. Uh, and this was had to do with the British era and just uh, I'm trying to put it delicately you were in the nice you were in the nice guys in the movie uh, so uh, the reason I said can I, can I sit here as a South African yeah yeah no no <laughs> <laughs> please <laughs> so uh, so uh, well, you know the, the fact is uh, when you have this kind of complex history uh, there would be the the downside of it. There would be the suspicions. There would be the unresolved problems. Uh, uh, at the same time, there will be bonds. There will be similarities. And and uh, uh, you know, cricket uh, happens to be uh, one of them.